Well, jockeying for power, one top Republican official calling behind the scenes moves criminal. Another saying it was a heartless play for power. The political turmoil all over appointing a new Oakland County executive. 7 News reporter Jim Kirstner gives us a closer look at what's happening now to fill the post left behind by L. Brooks Patterson. All of the focus remains on the county commissioners and the Democrats who won control here in 2018. But it's also what's going on behind the scenes. Some are calling that criminal. That comes from the other side of the aisle. And if you're breaking the intent of a law and breaking the Open Meetings Act, I would say it's, it's corruption. Corruption in its highest intent. David Woodward was the chairman of the Board of Commissioners. He resigned yesterday to be legally eligible for the appointment of county executive by the rest of the board. That meeting was set for tonight, but it's been canceled. The board is now saying anyone can apply online until noon next Tuesday. Gerald Poison was Brooks Patterson's longtime executive assistant, was sworn into the job over the weekend. He's a Republican. Brooks was a Republican. Republicans held the county executive job for four decades. Poison says the commissioner's moves, led by the new Democratic chair, Marsha Gershenson, is a quote, sham interview process. I think this is a cut deal, and that's why I think that it's illegal and it breaks the Open Meetings Act. And for anyone, any politician, to vote for David Woodward and talk about transparency is garbage. Roskowski believes this needs to be investigated by Oakland County Prosecutor Jessica Cooper or State Attorney General Dana Nessel, but both are Democrats. The new appointment may be considered at the next regular County Commission meeting on Thursday morning. That's when the funeral of Elbrooks Patterson is also taking place. His daughter saying today, this heartless play for power is unforgivable and has offended the Patterson family. Our father has earned and deserves more respect than this. County commissioners have 30 days to act. Another option is a special election. Either one would fill the unexpired term that runs through the end of next year. In Oakland County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.